All right, this is Rob. I'm gonna show you how to change a lock cylinder on a Saturn 2001 uh, SL2. Uh, we need to start off with popping off the little switch right here. I mean, the little cover right here. Just go ahead and pop that off. You could use a flathead screwdriver to pop it off. I just use the key to pop it off. And then there's gonna be a five five point five millimeter. Uh, nuts right here they're 5.5 millimeter now the one right here and the one right here the little ones these tiny ones these are really tight and snug to put a 5.5 millimeter in those right there those are really tight and snug the 5.5 millimeter the little part goes in but the big part gets stuck in there so either you could loop this up with some wd-40 to help us spin better but you got to push it like really up in there to to make it uh connect and you'll see this raise up a little bit when you're unscrewing it this will uh, start lifting up so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now i'll start with these big ones and then i'm going to do the little ones but there's five of them to make sure you get them off of here okay next i got the whole shroud off if you can see it the whole plastic cover with the five screws make sure you get all five of them out okay the next is you're going to have to there's a little black thing right underneath here that connects on unclip these don't pull it all the way out just pull it down some because there's a little pin that holds sticks into the middle of the lock cylinder and then if you can look all the way back here there's a little little hole that you can fit a tiny allen wrench in see you can fit a tiny allen wrench in here but the trick is not to go straight in it's not a straight in button you can see this is towards the bottom of the lock cylinder you're kind of going to go underneath the lock cylinder and push up underneath the lock cylinder and push up so let me take this off right now with a little screwdriver and all you want this to do is be able to come down be able to come down just a little bit you know I don't hell I don't know what the hell will fall apart if you take it all the way out but you need to just come down just a little bit to be able to get that uh little pin out of the lock cylinder okay there you see just that little 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 bit and the pin is out the lock cylinder right now okay now what you need to do is put this in and take it to accessory all right it's on accessory now you hear the little ring beeping and you're gonna put this underneath the pin and you should feel it it's it, I'm pushing up see I'm pushing down on this when I'm pushing down on this it should be at the bottom of the cylinder picking it up so, oh, I don't get a video camera to, I don't get a camera to hold, so I'm going to go ahead and try to wiggle this out right here. But you see, I think it got to be an accessory that goes in the bottom hole and you push up on it because the cylinder will not come. And you got to push this little thing out to, so out the cylinder will come out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Kind of jiggle it back and forth. No, I got to push on it. Okay. So like I said, it goes in the hole, and this is at the bottom of the round part of the lock cylinder, and you push down on it. You push down on it, and it'll pop the pin in. It's not a straight one that you push in. You push it, you go in, kind of towards the bottom of the circular cylinder, and then you push up on it. When you push up on it, you can wiggle it, and it'll wiggle straight out. Okay, and if you see right here, this it's kind of actually long. And this is what you're pushing in on. So you gotta be. If you look at the, if you look in here, is is at the bottom of the cylinder, and then you push up, and that's the trick. And you take this right here out of it. All right. I uh, hope that helps you take it out.